Hi, welcome to NetDevapes video blog. If you like these videos, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos and sharing our information with you. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask. Just drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Today's video is all about synthetic CBD. So let's have a sit down, get comfortable and let's get stuck in. So in this video, we're going to discuss the positives, negatives and possible dangers of synthetic CBD. But firstly, what is CBD? So CBD is a cannabinoid that's naturally occurring in the cannabis plant. One of the most famous, of course, is the THC molecule. Unlike THC, CBD is non-psychoactive, which basically means it doesn't get you high. So it's perfectly safe to consume in large amounts without getting that wavy feeling. So despite its non-psychoactive status, CBD still has a whole list of things it is good for, ranging from anti-inflammatory, antidepressant, antifungal, anti-anxiety, great for sleep, great for insomnia, great for period pain, so good for period pain, PTSD, cigarette brain, helps regulate hormone migraines, everything. What else do you need? What else do you want? So what is synthetic CBD? What is it? Why do we have it? How is it made? What's its purpose? Let's find out. So the word synthetic literally means made by chemical synthesis, especially to imitate a natural product. <laughs> so in other words, synthetic CBD is just the process of making CBD, but without the plant, in a lab. Hmm. So the evidence shows us that natural CBD and synthetic CBD are actually identical, except for the process of how it's made. So how do we make natural CBD? Well, one of the most common methods is CO2 extraction. This is the method of pushing CO2 gas through the plants to extract those lovely terpenes and cannabinoids, those all important chemicals we want to keep and preserve. The difficulty with this process is the legal situation surrounding cannabis. In some countries, it's still legal, which makes importing it or obtaining a license to grow very, very difficult, which has basically paved the way for synthetic CBD to come into creation. So the process for making synthetic CBD involves some sort of base material involved in some sort of chemical synthesizing process to create our synthetic CBD. Using this synthetic method, you could create CBD with up to a 99.5% purity rating without any other risk of any THC in there. Making CBD this way without the plant and without the THC makes it 100% legal, which saves you time and money. So what are the negatives of synthetic CBD? One of the most documented issues with synthetic cannabis products is spice. We've all heard of that nonsense. So spice is an alternative legal high to cannabis. Scientists mess around with the usual formula of cannabis to try and create a new recipe that hasn't been made illegal yet. So although this is a THC replica and not a CBD replica, it still gives synthetic cannabis products a really bad name. Spice is not the same as synthetic CBD. Another issue with synthetic CBD is the precedent it sets. Cannabis is a plant that has grown on this planet for thousands of years. It's a plant that we have evolved side by side with. We have an endocannabinoid system in our bodies, which was built to receive those chemical combines that are in cannabis. So the fact that that plant is illegal is nothing short than ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Come on, gang, it's 2021. We know the importance of the entourage effect now, so what are we waiting for, hmm? Hmm? So what do you think? Do you think there's a future in synthetic CBD or do you think we need to get back to the natural plant? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our channel so we can keep sharing our knowledge with you. And hopefully we'll see you again next time. Thank you, bye.